Hello, Slothrin and adult fans of Lego. It's time for another little update of Sloth City. And what is happening today in Sloth City? Not an awful lot, really. I mean, relatively, because I've been busy. I've been working more shifts at work than I had been. And additionally, we had an adventure here in real life. Uh, our uh, The pipes to the washer froze up because we we're having a rather cold winter here in Indiana. So we have been having lots of fun doing things like cutting holes in the floor to get to the pipes. So it's been very loud here, and I haven't been up in the Lego room. But things have quieted down uh, for a moment, so I thought that I would come up and give you a little update of what is going on in Sloth City. And I wanted to start off with something that happened a little while ago, but I didn't remember if I had shown it to you or not. So where I am is at the... TV station in Sloth City, and I know that I'd shown you that, but had I shown you that it now has signs. So, if you see here, you can see there are fine blue signs that advertise that this is indeed where the television station is. And... I will eventually be getting around to getting that TV piece centered in the middle of the wall, but that is actually much more involved than it sounds because of the way that it opens up, uh, and I don't currently have the parts for that. So it is fine where it is for the moment, and when I get to it, that will become centered. So there is that in case I did not show it to you before. Additionally... Do you remember our friend, uh, well, I call him Mr. Chimp. I don't think that that's actually his name. Uh, was it Chester? I don't remember. Anyway, you might recall that Chester was having some balance issues and was having some problems with his legs. And uh, turns out he does have a, a condition, it's a, it's a medical condition, and it's not something that can be cured, but now that we have figured that out in uh, the fine Sloth City Hospital, he now knows that, and he has this fine mobility aid uh, that helps him get around, even though, you know, his legs are wobbly and his head's a little wobbly, his arms are nice and sturdy, and so is his mobility device. So he now has that to tool around Sloth City and go where he needs to go, and he doesn't just have to kind of collapse in corners anymore. So there is that very good news for Chester. Also, uh, I had another request to add another sig fig to Sloth City, and so I would like to welcome... Let me get the name right. This is Lego Scary Stories Zamora. And he wanted to join Sloth City because he appreciated the message of diversity that we have here. And he wanted to live in a colorful place where all kinds of people are welcome. And since he is uh, a T-Fall, a teen uh, fan of Lego, I went ahead and gave him another uh, teenager friend, because uh, really, Sloth City is kind of short on teenagers. I mean, there's M Productions running around with a droid and some lizard guy. Uh, okay, his name is Deke, but you know, I'm just saying there's not a whole lot of teenagers here, so I had to dig around to come up with a friend for him, but I didn't want him to be running around alone, and I didn't want to force him into uh, M Productions' little circle of oddities, you know. He he deserved he deserved a, a, another human friend of his own, you know, rather than just 
collect them all together like, you know, teenagers don't have personalities of their own and possibly, you know, different interests. So here they are uh, on the bumper cars at the amusement park, the Sloth City Amusement Park. And that is probably most of what is going on unless I don't know if anybody introduced you to the fine rescue alligator that has joined the animal rescue. There is our animal rescuer there supervising uh, out with the Corellian hounds and the uh, latest additions to the uh, animal rescue that our dogs are, I guess, huskies or malamutes. I'm not sure. But anyway, they're all out taking the air, getting the sun, doing whatever it is, you know, animals do outside. And of course, we have the animal rescue gentleman there to make sure that nothing is out of hand, everything is under control. Of course, you don't have to worry about safety when you come to Sloth City, because nobody does. But yeah, I think that that's probably it now. So, thank you for coming to this episode of Sloth City. And I hope you join me for the next great episode of Sloth City. And until then, I hope that you, my dear Slothrin and adult fans of Lego, have a most excellent day.